Hilches Schluchen Veschutfen Pedig Scheni. Ein Agoi nasse Schliach le Dover Minadvorm Schwelem. Agoi cannot be a Schliach. Vechein in Yisrael nasse Schliach le Goi le Dover Minadvorm. The whole music of Schlichus doesn't apply to a Goi. A Goi can be a Schliach, and a Yid cannot be a Schliach for a Goi. Schnammer, Kein Dorim Gam Atem. So from the word Gam Atem, that's where we learn out the music of Shlichus. So since it says Gam Atem Behemshuk Ta Atem, we learn out Ma Atem Bnei Bris is Av Shluchachem, which you learn out from the word Gam Atem is also has to be Bnei Bris. And that's a pasuk which says by Truma, Vechu Adin Lachol Atiru Kula that a Shliach has to be a Ben Bris. And also Uma Mishalecha Chem Ben Bris. So just like in the case of Gam Atem over there, the Mishalech is a Bembris, the only a year's Shaykh is the union of Truma, is Av Bechol HaTeiru Kula Mishalech Bembris. The Mishalech is a Bembris. So Bekitzer, a Goy can be a Shliach for a Yid, and a Yid can be a Shliach for a Goy. And again, we, saw, we spoke before, the Lechura, there's two types of Shluchim. There's a Shliach that the Peshat is, he has to do of something, or he has to buy or sell. So that's a Shliach that's, that's, that's causing a certain Chalais. Mashenken, we have a shliach that's bringing something. We must have a shliach in the case that we had before, where where someone where someone asks someone to go and bring someone money or to bring back money. These types of shluchim luchur is just a ma'isa. So luchur that has nothing to do with a yid or a goy. Luchur is just a ma'isa ba'alma that could be done through a, through a behema as well, as long as it's a it's a ma'isa. In other words, there's dinim of since he's lapel was authorized to do certain things, so therefore he has dinim like the dinim of ben adam lechaveri in hilchis. Hilchis din imomenis, but mitzad hilchis of making a chalais lechura. That's not shaykes to the parsha of shlichus lechura. Halacha base. Oisa adam shliach isha yisha, vafilo isha sish. A shliach could be a isha 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 sish, vafilo ever the shivcha. Hail vehein bnei das v'yeshnam b'miksas mitzvus. So therefore, nasim shluchim l'masa u'matn l'gabi git nekedushin, so they can become they can become shluchim because they're ainer b'teiras git nekedushin. Mashaink and Lagabi Dini Mominus, Lagabi other things, they could be Shluchim. Nasim Shluchim Lamasumatan. Avul me Shain on Bene Das, someone that's not a Ben Das, the Hain Khera Shaitiv a cotton, Ainon Nasim Shluchim, they cannot become a Shliach, and also Vale Asin Shliach. So a cotton and a Khera Shaitiv a cotton cannot become a Shliach, and it can make a Shliach. And that's Echad Akhtana, a cotton Bechad Akhtana, say a cotton say Akhtana. The Fichoch. Now this lefichoch lechura over here we're talking about taka not the lomdus of shlichos over here we're talking the practicality of shlichos lefichoch hashleach bnei cotton eitzel achemni someone that sends a small child to a chemni and lepel umodad lei beisr shemen so this chemni went ahead and gave him like a little bottle of shemen worth an isr. and lepel or this is has to be lechura word or that's what Tesis says. In Ram, it's not clear, but Lechura has to be Venosan Leis Yisr. And also, he gave him the Yisr, he gave him an Yisr. In other words, the case would be that the Chemveni, it's not the Pashtab Shat in Rambam, Lechura, that's the Pshat, that the Chemveni gave the child the Yisr in order to go ahead and buy Shemin. He knows he didn't have Shemin, he knew that this person that sent the child needs Shemin. So this person, this the storekeeper, went ahead and gave the child an iser to go ahead and buy a shemen elsewhere, and lepel the ibed is a shemen v'eso iser, and lepel this child either lost the shemen which the storekeeper gave him to bring back to the mishaleach, or he lost the iser which the storekeeper gave him in order to go buy something for the mishaleach. So the din is achemven yichayv l'shalom. Over here, the word achemven yichayv l'shalom is also not so glatic. It means to say that the achemven loses out. Why? Because we assume shalishol ke'elu lehidiye. So in other words, we assume that the the send the, the mishaleach didn't send his child for the storekeeper to actually send uh, oil with his child or to send an issue with the child. And the storekeeper should have only sent it with a bendas. So again, it's not so clear. I mean, the, the, it's not so glatic, the Pshat and the Ram. Let's start again. The Ram says in Allah Beis that a cotton, a, the shliach could be an ish, an isha, a, a nevid, as long as you're a bendas. You could be a, a shliach, legami masu matan. Masha'ink is someone that's not a bendas, a cher, a shaitiv, a cotton. They can make a shliach and they can become shliach. That's, that's the number one. And that's lechura general din. They cannot be. They can make a shli. They can be a minu shlichus and they can become a shliach. Then there's a there's a lefichach. Lefichach is lechura in das bnei adam. 
Because normally, you don't really send someone, that, what, Luchura, what the Rambam is saying, the way we're saying over Pshat, from the Pesha Mishnayis and the Rambam and Teisvis, the Rambam Arav brings these Pshat. That, 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 that Luchura, what, what's coming out is a practical thing, that, that when, when, when someone sends a child to a storekeeper, and the storekeeper thinks that this person actually wants him to send oil, or he wants him to give him money to go buy oil, so then make no mistake, that's not really what he sent him for. He only sent him for to notify him that he needs oil, and, and, and maybe he'll find someone that's a bardas to send with. So it's just more of a practical thing that don't assume that if someone sends a child, it means that you should send the, the, the actual oil or the money with the child, because that would be a mistake. That's, that's I'm saying. I'm saying Luchur at the beginning of the halacha is saying like a psadin that a, that a cotton can't make, make a minus shlichos. That like the psadin a cotton even if he's memana shlich doesn't have a din of minus shlichos. Or if someone was memana cotton befeirish is also the, the doesn't have a din of a minus shlichos. Luchura al din that a shlich should be able to two of something. And now there's another din lefichach that we assume that when you send so a cotton you could assume that he's not sending him to actually uh, to give it to him. Again, a cotton cannot be a shliach to affect something. He can't sell something for you. He can't buy something for you. He knows he can't be a shliach in the hilchah shlichos. But on the other hand, if lepel, if you sent him, you say clearly, I want you to send the oil with the cotton. So then, is a potter. It's not so, again, it's not so glottic. The pshat, the hemshech of the beginning of Allah base and the end of Allah base. Allah gibu. He says clearly, I have something by you, a man, a pikodin, a milva. I want you to send it back to me with this person. Even if that person that he, that he specified was a cotton, is because he told him to do it. So by him giving it to the cotton, he is fulfilling what the person that he's obligated to said. Two people made a tnai amongst them. So in we could send each other things and we could and we could choose who the shleach should be. So therefore each person could go ahead and send with whoever they feel fit. And so in other words, I have to knows we made up that if you ask me for something, I'll be able to send it with whoever I want. Or if I need something and I ask you for something, you could send it with whoever you want, whether who you sit, see fit. So just like if I say clearly, send it with this and this person, and you send it with that person, so you're no longer achroi. So in other words, and I'm achroi. So if let's say you are you are lending me the money or you are lending me an item, so I become achroi for the item by you sending it with that person. Or if you're paying back an item, so maybe you paid up that item by you giving it to that person. In other words, that was the deal we made up. That that if we ask each other to send something, you it's your discretion to decide who you're sending it with. Even though I'll be din lechure, you would normally wouldn't send it with a cotton, but you could. You, you know, you, we made up clearly that you could. So in such a case, so that whatever we make up, that's the, that's a good tonight. Call tonight from a moment, kind. Halacha dalad hashliach shekorner ishemachar. As we mentioned before, over here the shliach is buying or selling, and he's telling either the seller or the buyer that he's a shliach. Is even though there was a ma'isa kinyan, either he made a ma'isa mishicha or the other person made a ma'isa mishicha, and lepel v'nimtsa shavar al das mishalech, and then we realize that really he didn't do what the mishalech told him to do. So the din is bottle a mekach. The whole mekach is bottle of mazer. However, if he didn't notify the person he's dealing with, the buyer or the seller, he's a shliach, is nikna mecha, so then the sale is a good sale. So the din is when, when a person goes ahead, if he's coming along, he says clearly, I'm a shliach, so that person realizes that he's dealing with a person that's a shliach. So Mimele, he knows that if that person is not really doing exactly the shlichos, so Mimele, the sale is void. Masha'engen, if he didn't notify him as a shliach, so he assumed that he's dealing with a person that he's, a, he's authorized to deal with it. And Mimele, now all of a sudden, to find out, no, he's a shliach, and therefore it's not a deal. So the din is not like that. The din is that it's considered, yeah, a deal. I, Lepel, he was a shliach, Ali Badamas. So that's between the shliach and the mishalech. They have to have a, a deal between the shliach and the mishalech. But as far as the shliach 
and the buyer or the seller, which wasn't aware that he's a shliach, so that deal is considered a, a done deal. Allah hey. Ruvein Shakana Sodomishimin and Lapel Vaamr Le Lalevi Kanisiesa. When Ruven was buying the field from Shimon, he was telling Shimon that I want to buy this field on behalf of Levi. And Lapel, the cost of Shtar Mecher Vishem Levi. So so Shimon, which was the seller, didn't write a star for Ruven, because he was just Ruven said, I'm just a, a, a Shliach. And he wrote a star for Levi. Now the cause of a Ruven, the Amal Shimon, now Ruven tells Shimon, really, you wrote a star for Levi, but in reality, I was really the buyer. I was really the buyer. He's asking him to write a star mecher because I'm the real buyer. I said that I'm, I'm buying it for Levi, but in reality, I was the buyer. So the din is, You don't, you can't force the mecher to write another star. Because Lepel, he told him that, that it's for Levi. As far as he was concerned, it was for Levi. Now he's claiming that it was for him, and now he wants to start for himself, so that he's not mechuyev to do. I want to buy it for myself. I want you to write a star in Levi's name just for people not to realize that I'm the buyer. Now he can force him to write. You know, I, I told you I bought, and if he's made obviously, if he's, I told you that I'm buying it for myself. I'm only asking you to write a star in the name of Levi because I don't want people to realize I'm the buyer. So then he could force him to go ahead and write a star on his behalf. And the he wrote a star for the other person. Now he's writing a star for this person. But Lepel, since that person has a star called him, the, 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 that's an earlier star. So if Lepel, he's lying, so that person is anyways going to have that earlier star. And those Lepel, if the star was already, the question, who has the star? Who has the star that was written for Levi? So it's possible that the Shlech still has that star. He never really gave it to that person. And those questions, maybe Ali Badeh was talking to that person's. And now he's just lying and saying that it's mine. So the answer is, but that person has a one of shach. If that person really has the star, so memela. So you no, know, if 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 the shleich is the one that has the star, so he could always tear up that star. So therefore, that person can't really claim anything. If that person already has the star, and now he's getting a star at a later date, that's not going to do anything for him because that person has already a star at an earlier date. So memela, I'm saying the orig- the person that he's levy. He's not being mafsed Levi. If Levi has the star, so Lepel is a star mucher. And if Levi doesn't have the star, so anyways, he's not being mafsed Levi. He could tear up the star. Halacha vov. Hasar sur shliach. Hasar sur is a middleman. A person is making money. He's, he's the broker. We'll call him the broker. So hasar sur shliachu. El suhunetul schar shlichus. He has a din of a shliach. He's just getting paid for a shlichus. That's what a broker is. Lefichach. So since he's only a shliach, so if he didn't do what the Bailam instructed him to do, is mishal said, just like we learned till now that a shliach that didn't do what he was instructed to do, so he's mafsed. He's mafsed. Ruven shemnasim chayfes l'shimen asarser va'amale mecher liza v'al timker bepachas mimeya. So Ruven gives a chayfes to Shimon, which is a broker. And he tells him, go ahead and sell it. Don't sell it for less than 100. And lepel v'halach u'mochri b'chamishim. He sold it for 50. And that person didn't realize that he was like a, a shliach and he, he, he thought it was his. So the din is m'shalim b'chamishim So He has to pay the, the 50 that he lost because he was a shliach and he only was authorized to go ahead and sell it for 50. For 100, not less than 100. Now mochri b'masayim. Lepel, if he sold it for 200, is Akel Ruven, because again, because he's a shliach. Even though he told him, don't sell it for less than 100, but Lepel, since he sold it for 200, so he got 200 for his mail, he's entitled to 200. V'chein kol ki Now, that, that's talking about if everyone agrees. So, notice, so he, he authorized him. Ruven gave the chafers to Shimon, and he told him he shouldn't sell it for less than 100, and he sold it for 50, so he has to pay 50 to Ruven. If Lepel, if he sold it for 200, and Shimon has to give the 200 to Reuven. Now, Reuven, Oymer, Bimeya, Amarti, Lecha, I told you, you sell it for 100. And Vasar, Sir, Eymen, Oba, Chamishim, Amarti, Li. And Vechem, Chamishim, Amarti. Now there's an argument. The seller says, I told you to sell it for 100. And the, the Sarser, the, the broker, says, no, you told me, to, you authorized me to sell it for 50. So the din is, Nishba, Hasar, Sir, Shvu, Atera. 
So the sarser is being made that he owes him 50. The sarser is being made that he owes the seller 50. But the seller is claiming that he owes him 100. And he's claiming that he only owes him 50. So the sarser has to swear, Shvor Satera, Shari Heidim Mixas. Now, when does he have to swear, Shvor Satera? The din of a made of Mixas is that the, someone comes and claims you owe me 100. And Lepel, he's claiming I owe you 50. He didn't give him the 50. He claims I owe you 50, and, I, and the other 50, I, 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 he's, he's being kefir. So the din is he has the din of made the mixes. But what happens if he already paid him the 50, and he's claiming you owe me another 50? So then he doesn't have a din of made the mixes. That's the din of haluch. So the din is as a im kvar nosm le'achamishin. If he already gave him the 50, and now the issue is only about the other 50, so now it's nishba shvua seses, shvua shlichuse. He's nishba shvua seses that he did exactly as he was instructed, and Vizecha Lekech, and Lekech gets the Karka. Lepel, he told him, he claims that he told him to sell it, now it's not 100. He's claiming that he told me a 50, and he already paid him back the 50. Now he's claiming, no, you owe me another 50. So Lepel, the din is that he has a swear, Shvos Hesses, that he doesn't owe him another 50. He's not a maid of a mixus, he's a Kefir Akel. And Lepel, Lekech keeps it. However, Vimyoda Lekech, he knew that the seller wasn't really the owner. So then Then he has to return the Chavis Lebailam. Because Lepel, since he knows that the Bailam are claiming that the Sarsha had no right to sell it for that amount of money. Lepel, from the, the seller's point of view, there was never, this person never had a right to sell it for 50. See, so the seller is the Morikam. The Sarsa went ahead and sold it for 50. The Moicher is claiming you had no right to sell it for 50. So if Le Pale, the, the, the buyer, never knew that the Sarsa was a Sarsa, he thought it was his. So really, the buyer bought it. So now there's a dentator between the Sarsa and the original owner. So that's has nothing to do with the buyer. But if the buyer knows that the Sarsa is a Shliach, so really, he's not really sure that the shliach had a right to sell it. Because if the Ruvain is the one that told him, which is the original owner, told him not to sell for 50, less than, for less than 100, so really he had no right to sell it. He's not really sure it's his. So therefore, he has to give it back to the Marakama. He has to give it back to the Marakama. That's his din. He knows that this item really belonged to Ruvain. He's only a, a broker. So then is Yahzur Achavis Lebailam, since the original owner is claiming that he never had a right to sell it for 50. And the Yachrim, Al Mishin Oslo Yeshus Limker Bechamishim, that if the original owner did give him permission and he just changed his mind, Eshirotse Bechamishim, and the Chazer Beacher Shekonisi, knows if really he was agreed to 50, but now he just changed his mind. So then he's being Machrim, he doesn't have any claim against him, he has no Tainus Vadai. The original owner is Tainig of Tainus Vadai. The original owner is telling Tainus Vade that I never authorized him to sell it for this amount of money. And the Sarsu is claiming he did authorize it. The buyer doesn't know. So since the buyer doesn't know, and Mimela and the original owner is the Marikama, so therefore, so he has to give it back to the original owner. Halacha Zayin. Kol Sarsur, shehidiya lulekeach, shechefet zeh, karke zeh, shoruvin. He tells him, I'm, I'm, I'm a broker, I'm only selling an item that belongs to Ruvin. I don't want to, this price is not something I agree on. So the din is, he, the lekech has to return the item to the original owner. He never made up a price. So since he never made up a price, so therefore the, the original owner could say, listen, you're a broker, but I, I have to agree to the price. And I don't agree to the price you sold it for. If you're a broker and lapel, you have an item that you're selling and you lost it or was stolen, so the din is chayiv l'shalom. Notice he's not a shamer chinam; he's a shamer socher because he's gaining something. He, if he's going to sell the item, so then obviously he's going to gain a certain profit from selling the item. So Mela, since he has this item for for an interest and profit, so therefore he has the din of an eisus socher, and therefore he's chayiv b'gneva v'aved. Person takes kalim from a craftsman, from an uman, and he wants to sell it to his father-in-law's house. If they're going to accept it, and knows they're going to be happy with this item. So then, I'll pay you for it. 
being love, and if they don't, if they're not interested in it, is etin stam mut. I'll give you something, a little something, not because I'm giving you back the item, but the fact that you didn't have the item, I had the item for a while, and you weren't able to sell it, so therefore I'll pay you something for it. And lepel venansu, and an oynus occurred. So if it happened bahalicha, if nansu bahalicha, while it was on its way to the father-in-law, is a rezachay of the shalom. Because at this point in time, it's kilo he bought it. Because he has a right to return it. But until he returns it, it's considered that he bought it. And therefore, if he bought it, it's chayv b'ensim. A rezachay of the shalom. He has to pay for the item. However, vim nansu b'chazor, if it's already on the way back, so it's very clear that they're not taking it. So since they're not taking it, so basically it's on its way back as a return. So Mimele, he's potter. So he's potter if an oinus occurred. If an oinus occurred, so he's potter. And if he bought it, so then it's considered his. So Mimele, he's obviously high for everything. Masha'enken, if it's if it, he didn't buy it, it's already on its way back. So then it's not considered that it's his anymore. And therefore, he's not considered, he's not responsible for oinus. Now, not long, a manas person takes an item from someone and he says, I want to sell it to other people. If it'll be sold and this in this place or for the, uh, give me a certain amount of time, is I'll pay you for this item, this amount. We made up how much I'm going to pay you for this item if I get a chance to sell it. But if they're not going to be sold, and the pale of a he has the right to sell this item. He's taking an item from someone, and he, but he's at, it's like it's like when a, when a wholesaler gives something to a retailer with a right to return. That's the shot. It's like with a right to return. So right now, lepel it's the retailers. It's the person that's been able to sell it. And lepel even if it's on its way back, he went let's say to a marketplace to sell something, and he's on his way back. He wasn't much to sell it, but in his mind, if he's going to meet someone else, he'll try to sell it. So the whole time he's still interested in possibly selling it. So therefore, it's still bachrayis of this sarser of this person that that this potential seller. And therefore, if an oynus occurs, is chayiv l'sham. So again, when a person takes something to send to his father-in-law on the way there, is chayiv beinson on the way back, he's not chayiv beinson. Masha'enka, when a person takes something in order to sell, so say on the way to sell in a certain place or a certain time, so say on the way there and say on the way back, he's always chayv b'ensim, because there's always a potential of him selling it. Allah chetas. Ko shliach shutan she'irei enes pleini v'hivset kach v'kach. Shliach claims, in other words, you sent an item with someone and he claims that an oynus occurred. So the din is arezen nishba shvuas Hashem al tanos evi yipoter. He's a regular uh, shamer. He's he he has this item. He's claiming that an oynus occurred. So mainly he's poter. Vim hoya oynus b'makim sheefsh lahavi olav edim. A daver shugali v'yadua shari yimtza edim. Whereas if the oynus occurred in a place where if it actually occurred, lechuri you should be able to find edim that it occurred, or it's something that's known, and lechuri you should be able to find edim that knows what happened. So the din is harezet tzarech lavi rayal tanosi v'im lehevi edim eni neman umishal. So that's a, a general din. The Amos Ram is going to speak about in the halachas of shemrim that this din when a person is a shemer. So normally a shemer has a right to taina a shvuas nansu, but that's only when talking about when he's taining nansu in a place where the pastors they wouldn't have been edim. Masha'enken, if he's tining about a place that the pastors that would have been Edim, so he can't just tine an answer and swear, he has to actually bring Edim. That's the din. If it's a dover, should go He'll bring Edim, so in Mele, he's not going to, he's not believed just to swear an answer. He has to actually bring Edim that an answer. Ma'isa be'echa sh'amo l'shluchei k'nei arba me'ez gar b'yayin mimoi sh'hoyu b'yodeh. So hoyu b'yodeh means he had money, in, the Mishalech had money in the hands of the Shleach. The Shleach had money of the Mishalech. And the Connolly, Lepel, the Shleach went ahead and took the money and he bought for him 400 garbi of yain, barrels of wine. And Lepel, the Nimtzuchem, it's now that wine is really vinegar. Lepel is vinegar. Now the question is, when did it become vinegar? Did it become vinegar after he bought the wine? So basically, it's an oinus, and Mamela, the Shleach is potter. Or no, he bought vinegar. So was, he had money of the Mishaleach. And instead of buying wine, he bought vinegar. So basically, he, lo- he lost the money for the Mishalech. The question is, who, who made the loss? So now the Shliach wants to swear that for sure I didn't buy vinegar. I bought wine. I know it was wine. 
before, and Mamela, it was an Oynus. So he's swearing that it was an Oynus. The question, do we accept his Shvua? The, the other Tzad is that it wasn't an Oynus, he was a Peshea Kilo. It knows the fact that he used this money of the Mishalech to buy vinegar that's a Peshea on, on, on the money of the Mishalech. So in Mela, the question is, is it enough for Shvua, or does he have to bring a right? Is Amr Chacham, Minyan, Gadol, Kazesh, Yichmetz, Kel, Yeshle. And thus, for such amount of wine to become vinegar is would have a kill is Efshel Havi Raya. Hail the Efshel Havi Raya. It's definitely that he could find Adam to testify when it became vinegar. Is Yavi Raya Shulei Hoya Yain Chemes B'Shor Shulakach. So he's bringing a Raya that he wasn't Peshea. In other words, if the fact that the, it was wine when he bought it, so it means he wasn't Peshea. Memele the Yipati. He has to bring a Raya that he wasn't Peshea. Vimle Yavi Raya. But if he's not going to bring a Raya, is Yishal. Something that you can find a raya, so there's an obligation to bring a raya, and you can't rely on just swearing and swearing that there was an oinus. If it's something that's hidden and you can't find a raya, is it shavalov? Again, when there's a taina between one shutav and another shutav, so if it's a taina which there could it makes sense that there's a raya, so then we don't accept the taina unless he brings a raya. Masha'enken, if it's a taina that the, it's not possible there should be a raya, so then we accept the shvua of a shamer by shutfum. We learn also in Hamshach that shutfum also have to swear to each other. But when does a shvua help? Only if it's something that a raya is not motzi. The chenadin betainus a shamerim. The same din a raya yechel If the if, if it's possible to have a raya, is a yavi raya tanos a yishalim. Kameshi is bar, so that's the din hilchas shemer. There's normally we say a shemer is nemo with a shvua, but when is a shemer nemo with a shvua? Only when we're dealing with a situation where the pastus it's not so pashtus that there's a raya, that he can have edim. Mashenk is something where the seichel the pastus is that, that if this is what happened, they could bring edim. So then the shemer is taken not nemo with a shvua, and then the shemer has to bring edim that what he's claiming is true.